Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidya Guru and in today's session I'm going to discuss mixture and allegation with you. As you can see, this is the complete English medium video which is especially made for our students from South India, especially made for our students from North East India. For example, students from Telangana, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Pondicherry, all our southern students who face some difficulty when we speak in Hindi and of course our students from North East who are well versed in English language. So if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and while subscribing make sure you press the bell icon as well because that's how you're going to get the notification of all our videos. So the tricks that I'm going to teach you are going to be the smartest, shortest and most logical. So no X and Y will be assumed. So make sure you watch the video till the end because that's how we are going to cover the best tricks possible. Sure. So stay put. Let's get started. Let's look at the first question. What it says. Let's uh, read it together. From a barrel containing 64 liters milk. So we have a barrel which has 64 liters milk. We take out 8 liters from it and we replace it with water because water is uh, much more easily available. If this is done twice more, if this is done twice more, that means this operation is performed a total of three times. In these questions which deal with replacement, listen to me very carefully. You have to first of all figure out how many times the operation was performed, how many times it was done. So this replacement was done twice more. That means it was done a total of three times. That's the important word. Then the ratio of milk to water in the remaining mixture is. So we have to find out the ratio of milk that is remaining to the water which is now there in the mixture. So what was the original milk? Let's see. The original milk is 64 liters. Students, the original milk is 64 liters. We start with 64 liters and what happens? We take out 8 and we replace it with water. That means after the first operation, what happens? The milk that remains is how much? 64. 56 uh, will be remaining. 56 will be remaining because 8 liters have been taken out. Sure? So, we start with 64 liters milk, we are left with 56 liters milk because 8 liters of water has been added. Sure, milk has been replaced with water. Now convert these values into ratios. That's the important part. So six, look at these the true values, 64 and 56. Both of them are divisible by 8. Students, both of them are divisible by 8. So I can say that this 64 is what? 8 parts and 56 is what? 56 is 7 parts. Sure? So this change, this change is basically the change of 8 parts being converted to 7 parts. I'm changing the whole thing. I'm looking at the whole thing in the form of a ratio. Sure? So we start with 8 parts of milk. And we are left with seven parts of milk because one part of water has been added. Think of it like this. Now this operation is performed how many times? Twice more. That means this operation is performed a total of three times. Three times we do the same thing. We start with eight parts and we are left with seven parts because one part water gets added. Sure. So eight parts get converted into seven parts. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line in each operation. And we have performed this operation how many times? Three times. So what is the remaining milk? RM remaining milk. Seven sevens are 49 because the operation has been performed three times. So we're going to multiply. Seven sevens are 49. 49 into seven gives me 343. So 343 remaining parts of milk. What was the original milk? 8 into 8, 64. 64 into 8, it becomes what? 512. 8 cube is 512. So basically we started with 512 parts of milk. Think of it like this. And we are left with 343 parts of milk. That means 512. 512 was the original thing. 343 is the remaining milk. That means 169 parts of water, students 169 parts of water have been added. That means the ratio of the milk remaining to water is what? 343 parts of milk are now remaining and how much water have we added? 
169 parts. So the ratio becomes 343 is to 169. Isn't it a smart way of solving the questions without assuming any X and Y? So if you like this method, please call upon the numbers which are given on your screen because that's how you're going to become a part of our live online classes where we, you know, discuss each and everything in detail where we cover all the concepts and apart from the live classes, you will be getting access to one year video program, complete video lectures. Apart from that, study material test series, everything will be provided which you require for cracking SSC banking and any government job exam. So don't wait, call upon the numbers right away. Let's move to the next question. Let's see what it says. The question says, nine liters are taken out of, of an alcohol jar. That means we have a jar full of alcohol and nine liters are taken out and uh, replaced with what? Spirit. Again, a replacement operation is there. In mixture questions, these replacement operations are very, very common. The same is done three times more. That means three times more. This operation is performed how many times? Four times. That's the important part. In these questions and placement questions, I told you, try to figure out the operation, the replacement operation. What is the number of it? How many times has it been performed? Out here, it has been performed a total of four times. Then the ratio of alcohol left to the total solution is 81 is to 250. Six. Since the operation has been performed four times, students, that is why look at this ratio. These numbers are, these numbers are the fourth power. These numbers are the fourth power of some values. So, 3 raised to power 4. Students, 3 raised to power 4 is 81. Why am I focusing on 4? Because the operation has been performed four times. So, 81 is 3 raised to power 4. Similarly, 256 is what? 256 is 4 raised to power 4. What does it tell me? Students, it tells me that the operation is somewhat like this. We start with 4 parts and we are left with 3 parts. So every time what happens? Every time we take out alcohol, 9 liters of alcohol and we replace it with spirit, what do we do? We convert four parts of alcohol into three parts of alcohol. One part of spirit gets added, students. One part of spirit gets added because we start with four parts and we are left with three parts. This operation is performed how many times? This operation is performed a total of eight. How many times? Four times. So four parts get converted into three parts. So the story repeats itself and finally we are left with what? Finally we are left with this ratio. What is the ratio? 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27, 27 3s are 81. I'm trying to show how this is getting done. Every time, every time 4 parts get converted into 3 parts. So what is the alcohol left? 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27, 27 3s are 81. So 81 parts of alcohol are left. How many parts of alcohol did we start with? 4 4s are 16, 16 4s are 64, 64 into 4, 256. We started with 256 parts of alcohol. We are left with 81 parts of alcohol. That means what has happened? The spirit has been added. The spirit has been added. The difference is what? The difference is the spirit which has got added. But the question says, we have to find out the original volume of alcohol. Now listen to me carefully. Look at this figure, 9 liters. Every time what happens? 4 parts are converted into 3 parts. 4 parts of alcohol get converted into 3 parts of alcohol. But what is it in terms of liters, in terms of capacity, in terms of volume? So there is a change of one part. Basically, one part of alcohol gets reduced. There is a change of one part. One part is getting replaced with spirit. So this one part change, students, this one part change is equal to what? It is equal to 9 liters. So one part is equal to 9 liters because 9 liters are getting replaced. One part is equal to 9 liters. And what is the total Solution, what is the total alcohol? The total alcohol is four parts. Students, the total alcohol is four parts. So four parts is equal to what? Nine into four. That means 30. 
six liters. So 36 liters was the original volume of the alcohol and that is the total capacity. Sure, so let's look at the next question. And now let's try to do this question using the smart method. Now let's read this together. From a vessel containing honey, 14 liters are taken out and replaced with sugar syrup. All of us know that honey is a costlier entity. Sugar syrup is a cheaper entity. So honey is getting replaced with sugar in this case. This operation is carried out twice. Look at the words carefully. Not twice more, but twice. That means this operation is carried out only two times. So finally, what is the ratio of honey and sugar syrup? The ratio of honey and sugar syrup becomes 121 is to 48. That means students, the final ratio, the final ratio is uh, 121 is to 48. 48 parts of sugar is there. Please understand the question. This is honey. Honey is 121 parts. Sugar is 48 parts. That means what is the total solution? The total solution is 121 plus 48. That means how much? 169 parts. So after students, after this operation is performed, after this operation is performed, Yes, the operation has been done twice. The operation has been performed two times. So what is the final ratio that emerges? We are left with 121 parts of honey. Let's do a bit of reverse engineering. Let's do a bit of reverse engineering. We are left with what? We are left with 121 parts of honey. How much honey did we start with? We started with 169 parts of honey. Why? Because 48 parts of Sugar have been added. Think of it like this. 48 parts of sugar have been added. So finally, we are left with 121 parts of honey. We started with 169 parts of total honey. So 48 parts. 48 parts of honey have been replaced by sugar. Sure, that is how the ratio was 121 is to 48. So how did this final ratio come about? 121 is to 169 students how did this final ratio come about this operation has been performed twice that means think of 121 as the square of some number so 121 is the square of 11 students 121 is the square of 11 think of 169 as the square of some number 169 is the square of 13 13 square is what 13 square is 169 that means now you can relate the operation was performed two times. So original honey. So what was the original honey? 13 parts. 13 parts get replaced. Get replaced. 13 parts. We start with 13 parts. With each operation what happens? Two parts. Students, two parts are replaced. Two parts are replaced with the what? With sugar. Sure. So 13 parts become 11 parts 13 parts become 11 parts and this operation is performed how many times students this operation is performed a total of what this operation is performed a total of two times that's how honey left is what 11 into 11 121 honey left is 11 into 11 121 parts what was the original honey the original honey was 13 into 13 that means 169 parts so every time what happens, there is a change of two parts. Two parts of honey gets replaced with what? Two parts of honey gets replaced with sugar. Sure. So two parts is equal to what? 14 liters. I told you. Look at these two parts in terms of capacity, in terms of volume. We are replacing 14 liters of honey with sugar syrup. So this two part change, every time 13 parts become 11 parts, there is a change of two parts. But this two part in volume terms is what? It is 14 liters. So one part is equal to what students? One part is equal to 7 liters. One part is equal to 7 liters. And what is the original? What is the original? It is 13 parts. What is the original? Honey, 13 parts. So 13 into 7, students 13 into 7, the capacity is 91 liters. The capacity is 91 liters. The vessel was of 91 liters capacity. 
so students if you like this uh, style of teaching like our videos and uh, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and become a part of our online video courses and live classes thank you so much god bless you